Ya, mbaya nasuguka inchi, mazumuzo, social media, ma TV yetu, magazeti. Hasa leo, kuna mchafuko chafuko mingi sana kwa magazeti. Hile ni meweza kuona siku ya leo. Meweza kuangazia mengine kwa radio hile nilikuwa. Lakini pia ningasema wacha nitoe in full report kama mzee kama vile ningefikiria ingetakikana tukae kwa njirani ya kwanza nimeona kuna mchanganyiko wa siasa nyingi ambaye inaendelea kati ya inasemekana magazeti kati ya deputy elegiji gashagua na, na, na pengine na president na mimi kama mzee wa boma nikaona ni mzuri kuangazia na kuweka maneno kwa wazi vile ilivyo na mambo pia aliftivali nimeona mvurutano ni nani atamiliki ruto akiondoka na nini ningetaka kusunguzia mambo haya ikiwa pande ya aliftivali na pia pande ya ya centro na inchi kwa jumla kwa maoni yangu ya kwanza ningetaka kwanza nichukue nafasi ya kushukuru kidiki waziri wetu wa internal security mambo yale yalikuwa akinisumbua nikiangazia mambo ya huko watu wakiwawa wapi huko mteketoni nimeona ameingilia na amepanga kwa njia mzuri sana ya utaratibu lamu nafikiri lipoti ikitokea vile waziri kidiki amepanga sioni kama kutakuwa na shida tena kwa sababu amesema hata ataweka kwa magazeti ile watu wanaleta problem na ile watu wanafandi hiyo mambo na nini kidiki have said that life na mimi namshukuru sana because i was so concerned on that issue lakini nafikiria rais ameichukua kwa nguvu zaidi na wamepanga na kidiki na najua mambo itakuja kupoa kwa hivyo watu mtaketoni i want to promise you that the government is taking action kulingana na statement ya kidiki nikimaliza hiyo kazi yangu ni kuangazia pale ningeona iko tabu tutafanya namna gani ningeomba ligadhi ya shagwa vijiji tafadhali tuelewe historia ni ya maana sana tulikuwa na matatizo hapo mbeleni kati ya uhuru mgai Kenyatta na deputy wake ambaye alikuwa Samuel Arap Ruto ambaye sasa ni president wa ya Kenya hatukataka historia hiyo ya kujibuana ama kukosa kuelewana ikuweko na nakumbuka rais mwenyewe akisema hangetaka akama Mungu atambalike achukue kiti hangetaka kuonekana akifinyilia deputy wake lakini naona kuna mambo yanaanza kutokea maangazio na ningeomba likijika ligadi na shabu you are the deputy you know the truth is hakuna mtu alichukua akikuyu ya sentu akawapeleka kwa deputy president ndio akuwe president it was engaged engagement ile ilikuweko ni ya president Ruto he engaged himself so much with kikuyus kwa milima wakaelewana wakatongozana na wakasikizana naye yule alikuwa kwa uhuru mgai Kenyatta akawa walikuwa na difference na yeye that's how the politics was so they they supported Ruto kwa kubadilisha siasa ambazo zilikuweko waone siasa ya wakati huu wako kama kutakuwa na mwelekeo wa njia nzuri na pia wakaangazia wakasikia kuna matarajio makubwa ya amani na kubadilisha siasa yetu ya Kenya. And that's how watu wa milima walienda na wakaanza kupigia Ruto kula. Kwa hivyo ukweli usemwe hatuwezi kusema kuna mtu alibeba watu wa Mount Kenya akawapeleka kwa Ruto. No no no. Mjue hii siasa mpaka dakika ya mwisho the president himself appointed Ligadi Gachagua. Na mimi nilikuwa frontline kale ya hiyo vita. Na nasema hivi rais mwenyewe <coughs> akijua ukweli na ngataka asikie hii na ligiji alikuweko ilikuwa ni mimi na dede nyoro bibi agashagua na agashagua na president current now tulifanya kesi mimi nilikuwa mzee nilikuwa mtu mzima mpaka nikalia machozi nikitetea ligiji na dede nyoro we cried bibi agashagua alilia mpaka deputy mwenyewe macho yake iliangazia machozi 
kwa sababu tulikuwa na mfutano kubwa sana tutafanya nini hatukuchukia kidiki lakini tuliona kwa mwelekeo wakati huo ndio tuweza kupata kula zote za milima na tuweza kufunga siasa ambaye ya serikali hiyo ilikuweko kuingia Mount Kenya tumei block na tukafanya namna hiyo na tukamaliza na likijia najua hiyo mimi ningeomba kuwe na heshima na ningeomba deputy president najua una heshima president wako ambaye mnafanya kazi na yuko deputy yake mimi ningeomba tusikue na maneno ya kuvidishania itajengwa kwa uzito sana na watu wa magazeti na social media tafadhali hakuna kitu wewe ukaliwa chini na izungumziwe na pia rais naye naomba sana watu asikubali wagawanyike kwa sababu what i would tell ilikiji hata kama kuna mambo ya vile kula ilipigwa i agree lakini rais akishachaguliwa kitu ya kwanza na kitu ya muhimu sana ni kuunganisha nchi lazima rais aunganisha nchi hawezi hata pale friend aseme nyinyi ya mko ana share kubwa nyinyi mlikuwa na share kidogo he is a sample of unit ya nchi yote ya Kenya lazima afanye kazi kila pahali hapa hali alipoa kula hata kama hata poa na hawa baadaye hata kama ni nyaza ama wapi he must show anaunganisha na vile alisema nakubaliana na rais ah watu yote they are taxpayers it is good kila mtu na hiyo ndio shida tumekuwa nayo Kenya ya mambo mawili mambo ya kugawa uchumi wetu mambo ya pili ni ukabila na nimeona rais vile ameipeleka hii mambo ya kuwa ukabila amejaribu sana i would say he has tried and he is working so hard kwa sababu ukiangalia kama ile watu wamepewa kazi ya mabazida wale walifanya walishapo na nini na nini i was shocked kuangalia wakitajwa they are on the face of Kenya that's when i saw it it is face of Kenya we were shocked hata majina mengine unashindwa ni kutoka party gani he has tried to balance ukiangalia kama mawaziri he has tried to balance mawaziri hiyo ni njia moja ya kuwa ukabila ile nyingine ya kuwa ukabila ni hiyo kupeleka kila pahali leila alitoa statement about a month or two week, three weeks ago akasema ati sasa pesa zote zinapelekwa central maendeleo yanapelekwa central haija pelekwa nyanza luto approved himself that even nyanza ameweza kuweka investment ya kutosha na mnajua alisumbuka alianza na Mombasa ameenda central ameenda wapi Muranga ameenda Rift Valley ameenda western and is still going kuunganisha nchi na kuwapea haki yao ili ile kodi watu wanatolewa <coughs> waweze kuona hii kodi ina return kwa kila mtu na kila mtu anaguza hizi pesa i think that is one of the way ya kuunganisha na mimi ningeomba watu ya milima tafadhali muzikubali kuingia kwa mtego ya kuwa tutaweza onesha ishara mbaya ama kukosa kuheshimu la hizi yule aliko Luto Luto alifumilia miaka yake yote ile alikuwa na shida mimi nikiwa pamoja naye <coughs> tulifumilia tuliteswa lakini alifumilia mpaka akaweza kutoboa kwa hivyo wengine likiji hata watu wetu wa Kenya tusikubali kuingia mtego Actually what you should do get organized more ukiangalia watu ya Nyanza in fact i have seen they are more organized hawana mambo ya ya, ya kuweza kungangana hao wenyewe ukienda Kisumu iko na ukienda Migori ukienda pale nyingine they have balanced wameweka priorities ya ile vitu wanataka ya kusaidia wananchi ya Kenya sasa si hapa tukianza hiyo siasa wajumbe wanapigana iko wengine wako pandi wengine wanazunguzia mambo tofauti hata mambo ile inaangazia mambo yenu nyinyi wenyewe hamuipangi kwa njia mzuri kwa kupendana na kuwa pamoja waje tusikue ni nani ako central lakini tuwe umoja wetu wa central wenyu wa central mnaweza kupanga mambo rais anawasikia rais anawapenda hakuna kitu hajawafanyia na ako tayari kusikiza 
vita ni ya nini wengine kama sisi tuna mambo tofauti mingi lakini tumefumilia siku sawa you are swimming on the nini or, or, or on the sea no also we have a lot of problem we are going through lakini tunafumilia na siwezi kusema pandia mapandi iko na shida gani we are there kufumilia nikijua unajua vile sisi tulifanya kazi vile tulikutetea vile tulifanya kazi kubwa today mimi na dede nyoro ulituweka nje we have no problem with that but the period comes Kenya Kenya kwanza mambo mengine baadaye tusikubali watu wa milima kumwaanishwa na tuheshimu lies ambaye yuko and i want to our people muangalie track record ya president huyu he is in history ambaye amebadilisha mambo ya nchi hii ya Kenya na mwaka moja from 63 hakuna mtu amebadilisha mambo ya nchi yetu ya Kenya bila ameweza kubadilisha kwa goodness ya sisi wananchi wa Kenya many things tax nini tufumilie mambo itakuja mzuri nhsf nini ministries youth affairs what education kuandikisha walimu 56000 nini it is in record mtu yote hata kama ampendi tumpe heshima kwa sababu ya kiti, ya ile ya, ya, ya kiti ya mekalia, na ile kazi anafanya uwezi kubarikiwa kulingana na biblia kama Mungu atakumwagilia mafuta you cannot be the president of this country kama Mungu hajakumwagia mafuta wananchi wa Kenya 80% inasemekana they are Christian but to me they are followers they are not Christian nimeona pia wachungaji kusi kingine walikuwa pahali kwa media nikaona wakizungumza walikuwa Catholic wa PCA walikuwa Anglican eh, na Muislamu walikuwa hapo <laughs> I want to advise you also I'm not a preacher but ile mambo mnajua lazy ako na know how zaidi because of network yake tusikongane kama unahubiri kwa njia mzuri kabisa watu wange kuwa na ile shida wako naye ya kuuana ya kuwa watoto ya kufanya nini ya kunywa pombe if you stick on preaching in a better way focused mambo ya inchi mwachie wale wanaweza kuongoza because nobody in the government dictates the church what to do. Eh? Yeah? mukiona mkiwa pamoja mnaonekana kama nyinyi ni watu we, muko pamoja ni kama nyinyi sasa mabishop ma, ma na reverends eh yeah, mnaraumu serikali hapa na hapa ni kama mnaonekana sasa nyinyi mnajua zaidi lakini let me tell you. Mkiwa namna hiyo mlikuwa hapo kwa hiyo media. If you today I want you to understand kama mimi nimetoka pahali iko jamii ya makanisa ya PCA na makanisa mengine ya Pentecost niende nikuwe muislamu I will not be given vote I want you to understand kwa sababu atasema mimi nimeenda muslim muslim akikuja kwetu asimame kiti hata kwa kula kwa sababu atasemekana ni muislamu Muislamu nikiana pahali wako waislamu nisimame huko. Waislamu watasema mimi ni mkafiri. So the issue of the church is a bit complicated. You need to understand. Hata mkikuja pamoja mnatuambia eh hey, tunaenda biguni tunafanya namna hii namna hii ni sawa. Lakini you understand the country. Na mu understand the constitution. The constitution we have today is above the churches. The constitution is above everybody in Kenya. And that's why ninasema tukizungumzia mambo yote tuangalie barabara ya katiba. Na ninashukuru rais kwa sababu wakati kumekuwa na shida ameweza kutatua mambo ya ile ya kwenda barabara, mambo ya kuharibu vitu ya watu, mambo ya azimio, mambo ya nini. Ameangazia mpaka akawaleta pamoja wakakubali kuna katiba. Na wakakubali kuna mwelekeo wa bunge, institution ambayo iko kwa katiba, senate ambaye ikubaliana tumekubali mambo haya ya mazungumzo yaendelee I, I think rais has done very, the president has done very well on that so hata kama ilienda boma sikaangazia mambo mengine mingi ambaye haikutakikana is good to make people what watoe mambo yao yote ile na wanafikiria hata kama itakuwa consider or not consider lakini wamepata baadhi ya kumwaga 
at least inchi iweza kutulia we are waiting for the report ili tuweza kujenga inchi yetu give the president opportunity nina unampenda ama umpendi please give him opportunity give him nafasi aendeshe he is going all over na hakuna pali afanye project ile kitu mungekuwa muna challenge hii serikali ni baada ya kuokota hii kodi muangazie muangalie inatumiwa kwa njia ya haki tunalipa mapesa pesa zetu za za ile tumebeba madeni are we paying in time walimu wanalipwa wafanyikazi wanalipwa mashule iko na pesa walimu wana wameandikwa wanapata pesa these are the things we can challenge if it will not be workable but for now you cannot be able to challenge the president because he is doing the right thing wacha asumbuke aunganishe and I'll tell you and take it to the bank kama atunge pata mtu ya kubadilisha inchi hii the way the president has come inchi hii ingeangamia ungekuwa na shida mingi sana walikuwa nasema anakimbia kimbia inje kimbia kimbia yes uhusiano wa inje na nini na kusimamisha madeni na kuagree kubadilisha terms and the conditions kama tungaya kwa CRB sisi tukua kama inchi hamujui mungejua inchi kuwe kwa CRB pesa ya deni ya inje ikiwa nitale mbili kama nitale tano ikipiga kak no discussion that money must go na tukindia kwa bad books na kushindo wa kulipa madeni we are done so I would add ligiji tunakupenda tunapenda watu wa Mount Kenya tunapenda watu ya ya ya, ya, ya Rift Valley tunapenda watu wa kila pahali sisi tukae tukua pamoja ya mwisho nimeona kwa media joto kidogo kidogo imeingia ate nani atalibi Ruto is too early is too early what you are Rift Valley please don't be so ambitious like that is too early hata kama mngeanza tamu ya pili ya president that will be something else it is too early ama mmekuna mmeshiba pengine mnataka kuanza kutapika it is too early sasa mkianza hiyo tutapigana vita ya nje ama tutapigana vita ile mnataka kuweka ndani kile tingi wudi wa mtu yangu wudi wa mtu yangu wudi wa mp wangu wudi wa mca wangu wudi wa governor wangu ndio sasa nipanga mambo yangu ya kuwa present after ruto no 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 please mimi ni mzee naomba tukae kwa amani tukae kwa njia nzuri but maybe tutapima tujue hii nyege inakuja ya kufanya mfikirie mambo ya, ya luto hata even one year zinatoka wapi where 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 hii hi, inatoka wapi tafadhali let's be focused support the present ikifika that hiyo ingine hakuna mtu amekatazwa na mujue watu ya central they cannot make a president when they are alone watu ya left valley you cannot make a president when you are alone We need all other people to show them like love. Na sisi tuko kwa ofisi ni tuwafanyie kazi watu. Ionekane ukweli. Lakini hata kama kwa ofisi ni watu wengine hawaoni watu, hawasaidii watu hata kusikiza peke yake wasikizi, simu hawachukui. Na mnakimbia ate mtakuwa wapi, mtakuwa wapi. Ichi si ya mtu mmoja. This country is bigger than all of us. And so I thought he said that. This country is bigger than all of us. Na ya mwisho niseme mambo ya UDA Kenya kwanza it is not our time to eat. It is our time to make the country the way the president is doing it. Please let's build this country and it will be good for all of us. There is enough for all of us but there is no enough for individual. Can I repeat again? There is enough for all of us but there is no enough o individual kwani hii amuone watu wamekuweko historia wamekuwa na mali wamekuwa na mambo mengi wengine wamekufa zimechukuliwa na raia zingine zimechukuliwa inachukuliwa na pocha as wale wanagojaga watu wakufa ili waingie ndani eh wanyanyaso watoto na pombe na nini wachukue mali yao all these things have happened why is so greedy that kila kitu ni kama fizi uchukue ukishiba unaenda kuchimba shimo uweke ndani ya shimo na ufunika unaenda mbali unapitia hapo tena usikie kama inanuka ndio mwingine asichukue ndio mwingine asikule ukitosheka wacha wengine wakule tafadhali don't be like that vile fisi nafanyaga na unjue fisi na mboya kabla ishibe 
ndio ichimbe kwa shimu inakuwaga imeshiba sana mpaka inaenda kushima na kutapika hapo please let everybody hii vitu yote tunangana kumtisha nyuma kuweka hapa nyuma let me tell you your biggest shamba your biggest shamba ni 4 by 6 that's your biggest shamba na ni kidogo sana kwa sababu kendo yuko chini miaka inakuja miti na mahindi itapandwa juu yako yeah it will be a very fertile land so <laughs> Let's go slowly. We are talking on the same level. Kufikiria maskini, mambo ya health, mambo ya nini, mambo ya agriculture. Tuangalie mambo yote tuangalie itakuwa na mna gani. Ili tuweze kuwa pamoja. Mi naomba wananchi wa Kenya hasa Rift Valley tuweke amani. Central mweke amani. Kwa sababu nyimbo kiaribika nchi yote inaanza kuchavuka kila pahali yote. Na wengine wote wanawaangalia. Msifikirie vile mko na mwenye kwa serikali mnapendwa na kila mtu. No, utapendwa ukifanya haki kwa kila mtu. Mungu awabariki na Mungu awe naye.